A number slashing on your screen. Bank of Baroda has come out with its fourth quarter earnings. We have Abhishek Kudari with us to decode those numbers. Abhishek? Well, uh, uh, you know, the numbers are pretty bad. You know, we were expecting a loss of 122 crores, but the net loss is more than 3,100 crores. So asset quality has deteriorated for the bank. The gross NPA in absolute value is at 56,480 crores. That on a sequential basis has increased by 16.5%, while the net NPA in absolute value is at 23,483 crores, and which has increased by 18.3% quarter on quarter so the gross NPA in percentage wise is at or the gross NPA ratio is at 12.26 that compares to about 11.31 in the previous quarter while the net NPA is at 5.49 percent versus 4.97 percent you look at the uh, balance sheet numbers they are pretty good in terms of the growth so deposits uh, on the other side has grown by 3.2 percent sequentially while the advances have shown a robust growth so the advances have grown by more than 22 percent YOY while it has increased by 7 percent on a sequential basis. The bank has also reported a gross NPA divergence. Now, what is divergence? The divergence is the difference in gross NPA as recognized by RBI and as recognized by bank. And if that is more, the difference is more than 15%, then it has to be reported as divergence. So the gross NPA divergence reported by, uh, you know, uh, Bank of Baroda is close to 2,918 crores. So that must be one of the reasons why we are seeing uh, you know a substantial uh, 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 deterioration in asset quality absolutely abhishek in fact we also have lalita Srivastava of bfsi Sher khan limited joining us on the phone line sir thank you so much for joining us on the show uh, what do you make of the numbers as you see them right now so uh, numbers uh, i would agree i think uh, are uh, 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 not as per expectations uh, a weak set of numbers uh, we were uh, we were uh, factoring in some amount of deterioration in asset quality, but I think uh, this is uh, apart uh, apart from divergence, uh, the addition uh, sequential addition in gross NPA's absolute basis is quite sharp. Lalita, what would you make of the NIA growth, which has actually declined by 8.9% sequentially, but has grown by 27.7% on a YOY basis? Yeah, so uh, I think uh, some portion of, of that would be due to interest reversals uh, that would have uh, come up because of the sharp increase in uh, NPA. Uh, that said, you know, uh, this, this bank was showing a, a decent trend of uh, 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 improvement in uh, NIMs because of, you know, uh, winding down of the overseas uh, book. So how the ad book has performed this this quarter and will also be something uh, that can explain that. So do these numbers call for, you know, you cutting down your estimates for FI 19 and 20? Uh, I'll, you know, uh, take a call as to how things are because, you know, you also uh, would agree that FI 18 uh, was, was this fourth quarter was expected to be uh, pretty bad for most of the uh, large corporate facing banks. So let's see what is the outlook management gives for NNT and then we'll take a call. Okay, okay. The, so the numbers are on the weaker side and as you can see they are way uh, you know uh, worse than what analysts on street were anticipating and as Lalita has has mentioned you know these numbers are worse than what they feared uh, Siddharth Purohit welcome you know welcome to CNBC TV 18 we would like to get your word as to what you make of the results uh, yeah Vizek, uh, the absolute number certainly looks weak uh, but uh, uh, what I feel is that you know as the trend has been so far for most of the banks uh, a lot of the uh, outstanding restructure accounts has fallen into NP during this quarter so I believe that similar might have happened uh, for Bank of Baroda because there is an absolute rise of uh, close to 8,000 crores in terms of GNPA. So, and if you uh, remember, they had a uh, uh, standard restructured account of roughly 9,000 crore, and out of which uh, roughly SDR and S4 itself was something around uh, five and a half thousand crores around. So maybe part of that would, might have slipped into NPA, and also they had uh, quite uh, a sizable amount of 525 accounts also. So don't know if that has fallen into NPA. So if 
that has been cleaned up, then I would take it in a, a positive note. Otherwise, the number looks uh, kind of now weak on the profit and loss side. Balance sheet, well, last quarter also was, uh, uh, it has started picking up loan growth, so has been uh, good on that front. Well, Siddharth, what you mentioned, I'll just highlight for our viewers. The uh, Siddharth is speaking about the stress asset in the balance sheet of Bank of Baroda. So if you take into account restructured portfolio, 5 by 25, S4A, SDR, the various restructured portfolios actually form more than 29,000 crore as on Q3 FI18. So that is the kind of stress portfolio that Siddharth is speaking, that largely he believes that the NPAs have come in from the stress portfolio and that is why you are seeing an uptick in the gross NPA or deterioration in the asset quality. Absolutely, Abhishek. So we, disappointing set of numbers there from Bank of Baroda. Siddharth Purohit, Lalita, Srivastava, thank you so much for joining us on the show. But with that, it is a wrap on this edition of Reporters Diary. Stay